Hey guys, Jill here for Premiere Basics, a weekly series where we teach you all the ins and outs of Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, what is the most important thing while editing? Speed, of course. And not only the speed of your PC, but also the speed of your editing as well. Now, when you're working with clients, you need to finish deadlines in time, so you need to have a great editing workflow. And that's what today's video is all about, because I will tell you all the most useful keyboard shortcuts to use in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, before we start with all of those shortcuts, let me show you where you can find the existing shortcuts and how you can make your own. So let's open up Premiere Pro and head over to the Edit menu and select Keyboard Shortcuts. Now this opens up a new window and from here you can assign specific actions to your keyboard. Now most of these are quite logical and useful, but some of them aren't or aren't even assigned to any key yet. So I'll go in depth and show you some of the keys and actions that I use the most that drastically increase my editing workflow. Okay, let's start with something simple. We want to speed up a clip. We can simply press R to get the rate stretch tool and this allows us to drag the clip which will make it longer, so slower, or shorter to make it faster. Now if you want a bit more control, we can hit Ctrl R. This will give us the speed duration pop-up menu but if we want the most control, we want to speed ramp the clip. Now right click on the effects button in the top left corner of the clip and then go to timer mapping, speed. Now unfortunately, there isn't a shortcut available for this action, which I think Premiere should really include. But once we've done this, you probably will use P or your pen tool to make keyframes. But there's a quicker way. And that's just holding control while clicking. And bam, a keyframe, super quick. Next tip, you probably cut with your razor tool or C on your keyboard, but that's not the ideal or fastest way. And I can tell you because I also use that almost every time actually. But there's a way quicker method and that's the add edit action or Ctrl K on your keyboard. Now I just replaced C with that add edit action because that way my finger is also close to the Q and W keys, which are the ripple trim keys. Q is used for deleting or trimming everything in front of the playhead and W is used for trimming everything behind the playhead. So it's super useful in combination with the add edit key. Now, do you know how to swap two clips? No? Well, I do. Simply press Ctrl, Alt and drag that baby in front of the other clip and bam, simple as that. Okay, next, you know when you right click and you have a bunch of actions that you can do with a clip, right? but that's so useless that we need to right click each time. So let's put some of these to new shortcuts. And from the keyboard menu, I look for nesting and assign a key to it. In my case, it's the letter M. Now next up, I look for scale to frame size. And here I assign the letter S, which is normally the snap function in the timeline. But since I always keep that snap on, I never use the S key, so now I do. Next, let me tell you about the magical Alt key. If we hold Alt while dragging, we duplicate our clip which you've probably seen me do a lot before in other tutorials or in our live streams. Now, if you hold Alt and use the left and right arrow keys, we can nudge a clip one frame forward or backwards. Super useful to get more control of the timing of your clips, especially when you want to cut to the beat. Now, if we hold Alt and use the up and down arrow keys, we can simply position our clip to another track. So you see, the Alt key is magical and I love using it. Now, as you probably may have guessed, I didn't shoot these clips myself. I got these from Storyblocks. Now this video is not sponsored by them, but I legitimately use them almost each week. It's kind of my shortcut for when I can't make footage myself. And their library is just filled with stock clips, but also with abstract shots, overlays, and yeah, just so much more. So it's always a nice way to use those clips to enhance my edits. And you know what I recently discovered? They also have Premiere Pro templates. So I don't have to even make my own transitions anymore or any lower thirds. I can just use theirs. Super useful. But anyway, let's just continue. Did you know that if you have a clip with effects applied to it, you can select it, hit Ctrl C, and then select another clip and press Ctrl Alt V. And this will open a new box and here you can select the attributes or effects that you want to paste. Now it's super fast and it's an easy way to get your effects onto multiple clips. You can even do it with time remappings. So super useful. Okay, three more. Let's head to the keyboard shortcuts menu and look for keyframe temporal interpolation. And here you can assign shortcuts to your ease in and ease out functions for keyframes. I assign these to one and two on my numpad. And when I then make an animation in the effects control panel, I simply have to select the keyframe and press either one or two to ease them. 
Now from that same keyboard shortcuts menu, we can also look for program monitor. And now we can assign keys to different actions in our program monitor itself. Now what would be useful here? Well, changing the resolution, for example, or zooming in and out. Once again, I would recommend using the numpad keys for this. Okay, one last shortcut that you probably didn't know about. In the keyboard shortcuts, look for Lumetri Bypass. And once again, assign a key to it. If we now apply some color grading to a clip, we can go into the Lumetri panel and hit that key. And now it will show you the before. So a super quick way to get a before and after look of your shot. And that's it guys. I really hope these will enhance your editing speed because they actually enhanced mine a lot. Now I'll see you guys next Monday for a new live stream and of course next Wednesday for a new tutorial. Like always, stay creative. <laughs>